I'm Eric Margo Ramos. I am from the Philippine Normal University. I studied Bachelor of Secondary Education major in English. I finished my program in 2013 and I am an alumnus of the Global UCAD program. I went to the University of Southern Indiana in Evansville for one semester, that's for the fall semester of 2010. I studied literature and linguistics at the university. I was born with a visual impairment. I am a premature baby, so I was born a couple of months ahead of schedule. And I suffered a condition called retinopathy, which is common for persons who are born uh, early. So I was completely blind in my right eye by age three and gradually lost the vision in my left eye. So by the time I went on the Global UGARD program, I was almost completely blind for, what year did I leave? I left in 20, around two years. So I was almost totally blind then for two years. I, w I really wanted to see full inclusion for persons with disabilities. Um, because that's something that's, well, we're still exploring full inclusion um, in the country. So I really wanted to experience the least restrictive environment um, in terms of education for, for, for persons with disabilities. So I thought, well, um, if I can get it here, might as well try elsewhere. I was really worried about traveling because I'm not an independent traveler. So one of the things arranged by PIF and road learning was to have a mobility instructor because for persons with visual impairment we need orientation and mobility uh, in order for us to travel to different places so upon arriving uh, in, in, in Indiana actually I arrived a week earlier than I was supposed to and then I met with a mobility teacher from the Evansville Association for the Blind and she uh, we worked together to figure out safe routes for me to get from my apartment to campus and from campus to uh, downtown Evansville. So I was, aside from orientation in the university, I was doing, I was basically practicing how to travel by myself. Um, that happened two weeks before classes started. So that was one accommodation that I have. Um, and then another one was books because I can't read books instantly. I can just pull a book from a shelf and start reading. I can do that. So I had arrangements with um, disability services and they they managed to get um, electronic copies of all of my books which I could load into my computer um, and then I can I can study. So those are some of the arrangements that, that were made um, before before actually before classes started. It was planning ahead of time. It was, um, and, and, and uh, it's research-based. So at, like, at what, like what I've said, I couldn't pull out books and start reading. So I had to prepare materials, my reading materials, um, and reference materials ahead of time. So I really had to prepare everything. So I, I had this, for the first time in my life, I had a calendar and I had like, I'm supposed to do this. By this date, I should have finished this assignment and this assignment by this date. So time management for me, um, really, that was something that I learned to do there, time management. And it's, it's the key for me. The, the Global UGRAD program is something that really changed me. Um, it was something that, it was something that taught me to to step out of my comfort zone. That was probably the most important lesson I learned with the Global UGRAD program. I mean, um, and, and that lesson is something that every person can benefit from because you cannot expect every situation to be in your comfort zone and, and the Global UGRAD taught me that. Um, and I encourage everyone to, I mean, to really take a, take a chance and if, if they really want to, learn and, and see where their potentials are. Try out for the program.